Well, so far in this keynote, we've only talked about products that are either shipping now or shipping this year. I wanted to close uh, by taking the time frame and moving out a little further and talking about how all of this will change and come together in the years ahead. Think of the home in four or five years. Think of what connected experiences will mean uh, as you get further out. After all, there's some incredible breakthroughs that can make a big difference here. Uh, speech, which we talked about using in the car, you'll use that to interface with your phone and even with your PC. Not replacing the keyboard or touch or pen, uh, but simply complementing those things. The ability to have a camera on your PC, know uh, what you're doing, if you're paying attention, to recognize who's there to do the right things. Incredible capabilities that will come uh, through that. And so those kind of hardware things combined with software can drive new experiences. One way we get a sense of this and share that is we build a, a futuristic home on our campus. We call it our, our Microsoft home of, of the future. And we're just finishing a new version of that. So I thought I'd take some key pieces, the really uh, exciting elements of that, and show you a couple of the, the scenarios there, uh, give you a sense of why we continue to be so excited about connections achieving uh, richer and richer goals. I'm going to start out here, uh, away from home. I'm just uh, here at a bus stop. Of course, I, I'm very familiar with bus stops. Uh, and I can see this nice screen here uh, telling me uh, which bus is, is coming when. Now my phone knows my location, and so uh, when I, I just sit here, it tells me the bus that's coming, uh, so I get that information. I can even look on a map and say where that is. Also, based on where I am, it knows things I might be interested in, and so it tells me about a, a nearby restaurant uh, that meets the profile of the type of restaurants that I'd be interested in, and here I've even got a special offer. I can see that uh, I get a, a little uh, percentage off, uh, and uh, I can take that coupon that's being offered to me because I'm in this area and store that away, and so I'll be able to use that uh, when I actually go in and visit there uh, later on. I also get the ability now to browse in, uh, you know, see what their uh, menu, uh, make reservations, all those kind of neat uh, capabilities. Now I get a little notification here that at my home, uh, somebody is, uh, rung the, the front door and they're trying to deliver a package. And so I can uh, take a view through my camera, see who's there. Uh, and if I want to go ahead and say, yes, uh, I accept this package uh, and send my digital signature, I'll just click and do that. Uh, then uh, sure enough, I get this nice icon that shows that uh, I'm verifying that it was me who authorized that so that delivery person can say, yes, uh, they were allowed to go do that. Uh, so here I am just with my phone uh, doing a lot of rich things, location-based, uh, connected up. Now let me move uh, to my kitchen, and uh, here I am. It's another uh, place you can imagine I have deep expertise uh, to bring to this scenario. Uh, and, you know, I need help here in the kitchen. Well, what's one of the, the big advances uh, that'll help, that'll I'll make that possible? Screen technology, projecting onto walls, onto surfaces, it's going to be quite inexpensive, and so it'll be very pervasive. Uh, so this surface, although it's, it's, a nor it's just a normal surface, we can project onto it. We can use voice uh, to drive this. Uh, and so I get the package that was delivered to me, and it was this uh, wonderful uh, little food mixer, and I think, geez, I want to... Like so I, it notices I put that up there and sees that it, I've never used it before, and uh, uh, yes. Uh, I would like assistance, and so it brings up some options. Then I've got a little ingredient here. I've got uh, my flour, and it, it notices that with the RFID and brings up recipes that might uh, be appropriate uh, to that. Uh, here I uh, see a couple different choices, and I think, hmm, uh, what are my options? Uh, how about healthy? Uh, show me what's in uh, recipe two here. Okay, and so now it's even uh, got the full list of ingredients. It's checked off the one that it sees that I've got with the flour there, and so I can go and get the other things. Uh, when I'm ready, I just say, uh, show me the directions. 
and of course it'll go and display that. It's even nice enough to give me this uh, view of a sense of how big I need to make this as I'm rolling up the dough and, and so it can even be interactive uh, in, in helping me move along. And it's just a little bit of software uh, in that uh, uh, kitchen environment. Now let me move on uh, to another location. Here I am in a uh, fairly typical bedroom and I've got uh, this nice uh, mobile PC that I can carry around, lets me control things and, and do things in this uh, bedroom environment. Uh, so when I start out, I see I've got, uh, you know, kind of a cool uh, scene that I picked here. And I can actually pick out uh, a music group that I like, uh, that I browsed and found. And I say, hey, let's take that and select that picture and go ahead and put it up there. And so I can d combine different things. This represents, you know, my personality, my room. But of course, it's being done by using this nice display capability uh, that's there on my wall. So if I want to think, hey, let's uh, go get something else, I can click along here and I think, how about that aquarium? That looks pretty good. Uh, let's choose that instead. Uh, of course, it's you know, kind of neat. I can learn about the fish or just uh, have that as a, a soothing background. Uh, maybe I want to uh, switch to something else. Let's see what I got. Hey, this is uh, pretty neat. I've got uh, racing sense, and so it's going in. This is actually from my Xbox 360 here, so I can uh, go ahead and uh, you know navigate along, uh, play this thing up on the wall. That's pretty cool. It's got uh, the sound and everything. I'm having a lot of fun here in my room, doing exactly what I want. Uh, but then. Uh, I notice that, uh, got to remember what's going on today, uh, that uh, my sister's uh, going to pick up grandma. And I realize, OK, I better get things ready. I don't want to just be sitting around like somebody who plays these games all the time. Uh, let me see what type of uh, environment will be like for grandma when she's actually going to uh, come and stay here. It's a little different than what I picked. In fact, I've even got this uh, uh, nice little video camera uh, back at uh, grandma's house. And so that's her dog there. And so when she comes, she'll find it uh, neat. She can even you know, see if her dog's OK and, and uh, watch that. And so it really becomes part of the environment. The environment really uh, is so different uh, because you've got these digital screens. And you've got this way of interacting uh, that's uh, very, very simple. And so the idea of connected experiences uh, can go way beyond what we've got this year. Uh, we can take these incredible improvements in the hardware. We can take the new type of content that's even being designed uh, for interactivity. We can take this powerful software, building on uh, the work that you're seeing this year, whether that's Vista or Office or all the great uh, third party things connecting up uh, to the, the devices. We can take that and go to a new level. We need a lot of feedback. Uh, from users. Uh, we need a lot of great research and make the reliability, the security, uh, the simplicity of these things really great. Uh, and so that, that means there's a, some fun challenges ahead uh, for the software and hardware business.